This is gonna be the worst okay. when it comes out. It's gonna be the worst when it comes out? Yep. Okay. I can't believe this is happening. What's up everyone? We're back again for another episode of Staff Inspection with Tri-Fi by Fire. Last time, we put the grill in it. Today, we're gonna do a couple other things. I'm gonna put pins in the trunk, because I have a fiberglass trunk, and it doesn't have a lock. I'm using tape to hold it down. Should get rid of that. And we're gonna wire up the line lock or the roll control, whatever you wanna call it. Come on with me. Let's go see what uh, this adventure will lead us today. So, fiberglass trunk does not have a lock in it. The plan is to put pins in it so I can have it hold it down. I was using a piece of tape this whole time to hold it down and it wasn't that great. And during Winter Nationals, we actually put Gorilla Tape on it to hold it down and it just ripped up the paint all the way down to the original paint. So, yeah. Oh, and if you're noticing, I'm not in the same location we were before, because we moved. There's a bunch of boxes laying around, haven't finished unpacking, but we're gonna work on this car right now. So, here's the kit. Real simple, everyone's seen these hood pins. I'm gonna use them on the trunk. For mounting, I'm really thinking about just taking this, it's basically a corner bracket. Use it for shelving, for, uh, let's see, mounting a bookcase to a wall. But the thought is I could just drill a couple holes, put it to the actual trunk, and then drill a hole here for the pin, like so and then have it come out, and that's how we're gonna do it. I just gotta make some measures to make measurements. Gotta make some measurements to make sure that this is actually gonna work. And I get the height for the pin, make sure it's gonna go actually into the trunk, and make sure everything's okay. That's the main issue I see having right now. But I think it's okay, because there is really no reason for this not to work, because I was using tape to hold the trunk down. It never caught any air. I mean, the fastest I've gone so far, and it was 120, 120 miles an hour so far and it didn't come up. And it was just one piece of tape, so. This is just one of those things to finally get off the list. I'm gonna see if one of the kids will help be a camera operator because I don't wanna keep stopping. So, I drilled two more holes in this bracket that's already pre-made, just in case, because I'm thinking I have to move it forward a little bit more because the thickness of this trunk, I gotta measure it and make sure that this will protrude out enough. I think this will be okay. I'm gonna measure it and see. And then, I don't think there's any other way to witness mark this. I mean, I could try and just paint something on the edge of that and have it touch that. Or I could just climb in the trunk and take a marker and slide it through the hole where I take the pin out, put the marker through there and see if I can get it witnessed that way. We'll try both. Now I got one in, I'll just have to put the screws in here to the, sh to the fiberglass to hold this little plate in there. But yeah, <clears throat> yep. It's way harder than I thought it would be, not gonna lie. Because on a hood, you just kinda like, you can put a witness mark or put something in its place to make the marks. It's harder when it's doing this. When it goes down this motion, like comes down, goes to flat like this, not like straight down. So, I shouldn't say it's harder, it's just like a little more finessing, a little more massaging. <sighs> so, we got one in. Now we'll do the other side and we can move on to the line lock. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. When we started this like what, two and a half years ago? There was one simple rule. Don't leave the donut garage. Don't leave the yard. So we're making a show about leaving the yard. It's that simple. Very Hoonigan show, it starts next week. Watch it, Mondays, Wednesdays, maybe Fridays, 9 a.m. main channel. Well, it better be sick. Daily transmission of the future. I haven't seen any of this. Our is first episode is you. Yeah, is you're in sick? the first episode. Is it sick? I don't know, I wasn't there, is it sick? I don't know, oh, I was under my car the whole time. <laughs> oh. Well, anyway, a lot more of the same old thing with a whole new name, enjoy. We made it to Mexico! <laughs> Now I got this, I don't have to worry about using tape anymore, which now has permanent glue. I'll have to use some goo off to get that off probably. Got the pins in there, everything seems to be cool. 
first item on the list today checked off. Perfect. So the line lock or roll control is a device that I'm going to actuate with a switch on the shifter so that way it locks the front wheels so the car won't roll and I can use it for doing burnouts in the burnout box and I can also use it to stop the car from rolling off the line. Last time I went to Irwindale, I didn't have the roll control lock uh, hooked up. The track has got a little bit of downhill to it. So I got the line, I rolled through the light and I didn't go because I red lighted. And good thing I didn't because the car next to me went right into my lane. I had that footage of Brad almost crashing into me. <laughs> That's what the whole point of having the roll control is, so it won't keep, it will keep the car in position. You can hold the front wheels, the car won't roll, I can be preloading the clutch a little bit, get the car ready to go, and I can bring the RPM up to like three, four, five grand, and then let it go. So all we're gonna do is more wiring. That's all I do around here is wiring, it's funny. The solenoid is already in the car, so all I'm gonna do is wire up the switch, which I'm gonna put right here. Actually, I might put it on this side, Gonna run the wire down. I gotta cut that too. Dang it, forgot about that. And then we're gonna run 12 volt power from the fuse block, so it's keyed on only. Then you run it to, I'm gonna run a light so I can tell when it's on and activated. And then I'll run that to the actual positive on the solenoid side. And then you ground the other side. So it shouldn't take more than nine hours. <sighs> yep. Here we go. I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. You got a really nice oh, look, no. don't you? I need a film. Oh, here we go. That's my daughter's gonna. Gonna to get over there. There you go. <laughs> you gonna be our my camera person today? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Back to you then. Alright, so we melted that. Oh wow. No, you melted yourself. This is gonna be the worst okay. when it comes out. <laughs> it's gonna be the worst when it comes out? Yep. Okay. Okay, so there's that one wire which is gonna go to, that goes to the roll control which is down on the firewall of the car. Now I'm gonna do the ground for it and I'll ground it somewhere in the car. Well, actually, you know, I have a frame ground that's on this side of the car. Can you put this in your pocket? What? Because yours is longer than mine's. You wanna put this in my, in my pocket? Yeah. Okay. okay. What are you doing? Crash the car. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. I don't know what she's saying. Okay, so I'm gonna do on the ground on the roll control unit. We'll use the same uh, splicing item to do that. We'll get. Break the car. I'm gonna break the car. <laughs> and then um, we'll move over to mounting the light switch. Tell us on that store when you first got this car. When I first got it? Yes. How I bought it, and you guys didn't know I bought it? Yes. It was underneath the freeway. Okay. And you and your mommy and Gunner were in Texas visiting family and they came home and they found it. Actually, no one even knew about it for a long time. It was behind the barn, so no one knew about it. It's behind the barn? It was behind the barn. Why didn't I never see that? I you were a baby when I got this. <laughs> you were literally in diapers still. So yeah. So this is gonna take 9,000 years to get this done. Hello darkness, my old friend. Why do you keep saying when I crashed the car? <laughs> How do you hear me? I can hear you, anyways. <laughs> Why we'll did, just keep going. What did I say the first time I did that? You keep saying the same thing. I'm going to crash the car. I'm going to crash the car. I really want to cut wires, though. No, I'm not going to cut wires right now, okay? I Can know. I cut the house? No, how about we don't cut anything right now? Okay. Who even knows how to do all this wiring? Okay, I got to take a break to handle kids. All right, we'll try this again. Okay. Car's on, push the brake, hit a solenoid click, and <gasps> the light's on. Okay, so that means this thing should not roll. So we'll try starting the car now, and we'll see if this works. Let's see. Hopefully, you know, leave the doors open, whatever. Let's see if it doesn't roll. Okay, it's stalling the car, so I'm guessing it's not gonna roll. Let's try again. Okay, cool. All right, that works. It holds the front end, so that's good. Yay. Oh my gosh, so we got line lock now. You have to push on the brake pedal a lot harder to get enough fluid into it. 
That seems good. Oh my gosh. Okay, there you go. So now we have a line lock, which means I can roll up to the line, or I can roll up to the burnout box. I can just set it and do a burnout second gear and not worry about the car getting crazy like this because I was jumping off the clutch to the foot brake and the car would want to start doing this and I would be like going all over the place. So I would just do really short burnouts, like just burp, right through. So this will be, this will be good. Wow, we put trunk pins on my fiberglass trunk and uh, we have a line lock. I'll take it, it's fine, I'll take it. Oh man. Ugh. What a day. What a day. Those things are done. I feel pretty good about that. That'll make going to the track a lot easier, at least lining up and get going. I am still gonna fix the master battery cutoff. I will fix it. Oh. And then after that, it's all, I don't know. There's, there's a ton of other things. I still gotta get that front clip to fit better. And I still gotta paint the grill. And I do like the idea of having Penny just paint it. So maybe I'll just let Penny paint it. It could look really good or it could look really, really weird. Whatever. I don't know, we'll figure it out. They're actually inside because it's way too hot out now. It's still probably like 90 degrees, so. But hey, we got it. We got pins in the trunk and we got a line lock. So yes, I'm taking it as a win. Ugh, so tired. On the last episode, yes, I screwed up. I totally did the mastery battery cutoff switch incorrectly. Shit happens, so I'll fix it. No, you matched yourself.